we're up here on the ridge overlooking the PPG site where they want to put the iron ore smelter or whatever they want to put there. And we're looking at Platten Creek, which is at the bottom of this ridge, and it wraps around the site on its way to the Mississippi River. You can see the Crystal City Water Tower over there. And just to the left of that is where they're starting to put the construction trailers for the project that they're proposing, even though they don't have a real project out there in terms of permits and uh, designs and blueprints. But they're doing something with bulldozers out here today. And then this is the lower section of the site. There's an old landfill um, here. There's a lot of where a lot of waste and contamination was buried over the years. A lot of byproduct from glass manufacturing. There's the remnants of a coal gasification facility on the site, which is probably where most of the most toxic material on the site comes from. So the question we're asking today is whether this project is real. They've clearly started doing some bulldozing on the site. Reportedly it's less than an acre, so they don't have to have any state permits, which is good because there aren't any state permits on this facility right now. The most contaminated uh, part of the site is out towards the middle over here. It's um, where the old solar cool area was, but it was also where the old coal gasification facility was back from the 1890s through the 1930s. And the contamination has just been left on site along with all the other contamination. So for those folks looking forward to jobs in Crystal City, the big issue for us is whether a site of an acre is going to be able to deliver on those promises. And if it's, if it's going to be more than an acre, when is that going to happen? Because there's been no movement at the official and legal levels to make that happen. And right now we're looking at some disturbed soil. So we've got one of the gentlemen who serves on the Planning and Zoning Commission out here today. He helped make the decision to give this project a thumbs up. And he got to uh, ride in the bulldozer and take the first, uh, the first dig. We're not exactly sure what's going on with the site, except that they're supposed to be putting in a 2,000 square foot portable modular building and supposedly running sewer and utility lines, um, though there are no permits out for sewer and utility lines either. So the most important question for all of us that are following this project closely is, is it real or is it smoke and mirrors?